to get. I know how to get in pop every single time on uh, Among Us. We live. Yo, 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 already know what time it is, man. Welcome to Monday Night Football. We got the Patriots versus the Jets tonight. 
I am your host, Lever KT. I see my boy, Hoel, is in the building. What's good, Holmes? Um, all the way to our left, we got the truth, a.k.a. the R1P truth, a.k.a. Marlboro Smooth Truth. What's good, Truth? How you living, bro? Don't forget to unmute. I'm good. I'm good. Doing all right? Hey. Everything is everything, man. I want to shout out everybody who came in and tuned in last night. Last night was epic. Uh, to the right of him, man, we got Jalen Wilson, man. Jalen, what's going on, Playboy? Uh, no, I'm just chilling. Everything good? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Buffalo is good, goddammit. Move out. What's going <laughs> on, man? How you doing, bro? I'm great, bro. <laughs> I'm great. Everything good? Everything L, be, bro. L, L, cool. Brad is back in the building. L, L, the Steelers are undefeated is in the building. Gazer, Gazer is in the building. What's good, Brad? Nothing. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Nothing. Hey, everything gotta be good, brother. I mean you no, you know good. you beat you beat Greeny, which would we thought was a lopsided uh matchup, but clearly uh you you know what I'm saying, David versus Goliath, man, you was able to come through with the victory, man. So hey, I wanna get straight into it tonight, man. I feel like we warmed up after doing, you know what I'm saying, R one P nightly last night. So the uh, Patriots and the Jets, Patriots are up in the series matchup, 67 to 54. They do have one tie. Uh, fun fact, the Patriots have won eight straight games versus the Jets. Peeped this by a margin of, of average, 21 points. Um, uh, the Patriots haven't lost back-to-back -back AFC games since 2015. So they did lose last week uh, to my Buffalo Bills. Um, so let's let's do a little bit of tail of the tape. Y'all know I'm a fan of boxing. Um, the Patriots are 30th in offense. Um, the Jets are 32nd in offense. The Patriots are fourth in defense. That's crazy. If the offense held the ball a little bit more, they would be the number one defense in the league. Um, Jets are 22nd in defense. Um, the Patriots are 31 in passing. The Jets are 32 in pa passing. Uh, it, 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 don't, it don't get no worse than this. Uh, the Patriots are six in rushing, and the uh, Jets are six in rushing. Uh, also, I wanted to go over something. Six. Yeah, six. Believe it or not, Todd Bowles as yeah. the Jets head coach was twenty three and thirty nine. Not great, but Adam Gase is seven and seventeen, and right now he's zero and eight. What are y'all yeah. thoughts about this game? I just gave y'all a bunch of information. Um, I think the Patriots are also two and five, and the Jets are one eight, as I just told you. Um, I start with you, Truth. Can my question is: Can the offensive futility somehow rectify itself, and these two offenses wake up and put some points on the board? Otherwise, this is going to be. A defensive nightmare. <laughs> uh, it'll be it'll probably be as boring as the Patriots' last Super Bowl against the Rams. A very boring game, and also a very interesting point. Um, anybody wants to answer true question? Nope. Um, can you repeat the question, true? Will these offenses find a way, uh, find a way to end the futility and wake up? Uh, Monday night, I think so. I think so. I won't give you any predictions or final scores yet, but I think so. Same. Nah, actually, I'm gonna say it's a lopsided affair. It won't be. It will I, not I, be. It's going to be a I, damn good football game. I'm telling you that right now. Jamonte nah, the God I mean, is in I the mean, building. I mean in, like, getting the offenses going for both teams. That's what I mean. Oh, uh, okay. Okay, okay. Oh, no, I agree with you. I agree with you. KT. Yo. What are these two teams' offensive records on Monday Night Football? What do you mean? What are their what what are their um what what are their yards per game averages on Monday night football when they play? That would be a question you would have to answer. I do not have that information. 
Okay, let me let me look it up and see. Honestly, I feel like the Jets' uh, run game is actually going to do better than the Patriots' game. Like, they're going to find it out early, and that's what they're going to go to most of the game. So, why why Truth is doing some uh, deep diving and uh, research, um, let's talk about Adam Gase. Like, we talk about him a lot. Like, I mean, at this point, like, does the general manager and or owner of the Jets owe him a favor or something? Like, I can't figure out why he's still there. Why is he there? I'd pay him. I would pay him a hundred grand just to lead the team. I mean, they're thirty second <laughs> in offense, and he's an offensive coach. <laughs> Come on, now. Been saying it for a long time, long time. Long <laughs> 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 time. I don't bro. Like this. <laughs> So many coaches in here, bro, that that desire jobs. Adam Gase is not one of them. <laughs> Go back to high school, bro. So maybe they're like, um, Adam Gase sucks, and <laughs> we want to tank. So why not just keep this trash coach on the sideline? That's mm-hmm. a good point. I mean, I don't know why else he would be coaching. Yeah, I, I have yeah. No clue. I, I mean, I I like I like what you said there. I I think that is very valid. I feel like Todd Bowles, at least one season, uh, they finished second in the AFC, and they they were they were able to go to the playoffs. You know that was his very first year there. A uh, bunch of five and eleven years after that, but I mean, you start off zero and eight, and you still have your job. Somebody owes you a favor. Um. So what I found out, I didn't find what I was looking for, but the. Patriots are a 10-point favorite, but while the over and under is 42 and a half. For what? Total points for it. Yeah. That's just crazy. That's... It should be. It should. I'm taking the over. 20-42? So that basically, y'all telling me it's going to be a 21-21 game? Nah. Mm. I got more. I'm taking the under, and where can I bet? Same. Same. Yeah, I don't think both offenses are going to perform. I say there's under 30 points. Ah, so you think it's one of them old school 1993 yeah. games, Brett? Moon is shaking his head. Moon, I, I want to hear it's your, your thought like on that. this. Like last year, it's kind of like that game versus Steelers versus the Jets in which we lost, but it was a close game, too. Like, it was gonna be, it's going to be one of those games. Where it's like third and out, third and out, maybe a field goal, then third and out, third and out. Yeah. Oh, interesting. I think uh, Jets 0 and 8, Patriots 2 and 5. Both these teams need to win. So both these offenses are going to come to score. In fact, the 2020 leaders on the offense, let's just look at this. Cam Newton's leading right now. He got um, 1,143 yards, two touchdowns in the season, no touchdowns to tight ends or wide receivers. Julian Edelman is the leading receiver, 315 yards, no touchdowns on the season. Cam is also their leading rusher, despite them having, like, four different running backs that they can use. Cam has uh, 298 yards, six touchdowns on the season. But the Jets, Sam Darnold, Sam Darnold is their leader, uh, 1,045 yards, three TDs. Jameson Crowder, leading receiver, 383 yards on 29 receptions for two TDs. And Frank Gore is their leading rusher, although I do think that uh, uh, Michael Piron is going to get the start tonight uh, for the Jets. In the last five matchups that they played, October the 21st, 2019, the Jets lost 33 to zero to the Patriots. <laughs> the September the 22nd, 2019, Jets uh, lost 14 to 30 to the Patriots. Uh, December, uh, December the 30th, 2018, the Jets lost three to 38 to the Patriots. Uh, the 25th, the Jets lost 13 to 27 to the Patriots. In 2017. The Jets lost. Uh, yeah, the Jets lost six to twenty-six to the Patriots. And KC read out the all-time record for this team. But if anything, 
did you know that the New England Patriots away record is 0-3 on this season? Yep. Yeah. Would you uh, know about all them stats that you just said? Who was it to him with the New England Patriots? Wait, say that again? Of all those, st- those scores you just said, who was the leader of the New England Patriots? Mm. Oh, Tom Brady, and he's not he's not there anymore. And Tom did. Brady, I don't know if he played at all of those games in the series matchups, but um, that's that's what's different. And the, if if you look the, at the common denominator for all of those games, the Jets zero, 14, 3, 13, 6, That's just the last uh, five matchups combined. I right. think that the reason why it'll hit over is because the Jets will do their part today and put up some points on the board. You know, I'm not gonna say it's gonna be a lot, but I'm saying that it'll be enough to get the over. Okay. For the game. Okay. For some odd, for 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 some odd reason, even though I've been down on Cam Newton and company, I think they'll win this game. But I don't expect it to be no 38 to three type shit. Uh, maybe I'm going with the under. I'm thinking maybe 28 to 14. No, that's yeah. That would be un- over. That's under. That's 42 points. What was the over under? Was it 42 or 45? 42 and a half. 42 and a half. Okay, okay, okay. I follow you. Two blunts. What's good? What you play, mm-hmm. boy? But um. So injury. I guess the injury report for this game. Uh. Sam Darnold's not playing. Rashad Perryman, Jamison Crowder, uh, questionable. Sam Ficken, kickers, questionable. Cameron Clark, Quentin Williams, Blake Cashman are uh, questionable for the Jets. Giddy Lock, I don't know if he's playing. Um, he's not. Nah, he's out. And Is that's the healthy scratch. And I think that's main. That's the notable one for the Patriots. Um, of course, Nikhil Harry's not playing either. I don't think. But not a, but it, it is though because they need wide receiver depth. They need wide receiver anybody to show up. Jules wasn't listed on the injury report, but could he is he's on IR though. So yeah, um, they just need any type of help they can get on the receiver side and um or even tight ends. So anybody to step up. Um, but I think Gilmore not playing is a big thing. And that 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 can really help the Jets. And I guess later in the show, I'll give you some fantasy impact on this game, too. But that's what I'll say. That's a that's a big blow to their defense. So so I got a question for you. Still think the Patriots are making over? Even even though we know they're no no the game, even though we know the game as a the receiver. game as a whole will hit the over because I think the Jets will do their part. Um, do Joe so? Flacco. Joe Flacco is starting. I trust Joe Flacco a little bit more than I trust Sam Darnold right now. Okay. And um, he's been competitive this year, um, even though he hasn't really got the job done. Um, do, you, do, you, do you think the Patriots cover a 10-point spread? No. I think the game is closer than we give it credit, but, like, way, way closer. So, yeah, they don't cover. Okay. I'm telling you now. Uh, I I watched the Bills and the Jets last game, and Bills struggled mightily. They are going to blitz. Y'all know Greg Williams' body. Y'all know his body of work. They are going to blitz. Now, mm-hmm. it will come back to get him because Cam Newton may get a crease or two. As Moon uh, alluded to earlier, he does lead their team in rushing. But they are going to blitz, and uh, my prediction, one of my predictions for this game is Marcus May will have a sack. And an interception. Mm. I like that because they actually got seven interceptions on the season. Uh, the Jets. Yeah, they they're physical, man. Offense is terrible. <sighs> Defense isn't bad. At both all. of the team, both of the teams that are playing the Jets and the Patriots, both of the offense reminds me of how the Steelers played last year on offense, but their defense were good. That's yeah, how I yeah, I love that parallel, bro. How many times? Uh, oh, well, I'm a. Uh, how many times have I said if a team has a good offense, their defense suffers? If they have a good defense, their offense is 
ass. That's not mm. always true. That's not always true, but in but in the case of the in the case of the Jets and the and the Patriots, it seems to be true this year. I think the Jets situation isn't on the field. I think it's yeah. coaching. I think it's ownership. I think it's management. Craig and Williams is notorious for not liking offensive-minded head coaches. I can tell you now, him and Adam Gates do not like each other at all. At all. I think the Colts uh, – I said the Colts. The Jets, the Jets are just a mess. The Jets are the NFL equivalent to the Knicks. They can't get right. Why can't they get right? They're playing in the Big Apple and they can't get right. That's frustrating. Like, as a Bills fan, yes, I love to see it. I'm happy to see it. But as a fan of the yeah. NFL, period, the 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 New the core New York, yes, Bills are in Western New York. I'm telling you, they don't count them in New York, bro. The, <laughs> the, it's about the Giants and the Jets, and both of them right now. Well, the Giants are promising. I will say that they're they're promising. Their record. They can still win a division, for for all we know. You know what I'm saying? That record, I think, is a little bit worse than what it should be. Um, but I I don't know. The, the Jets. They should have beat the Steelers, honestly. Great point. I mean, I, I don't know. I think I think the Jets. Even as a Steelers fan, I can. What is it with the Jets? Like, do they need to clean house? Clean the house, I mean, you, you can't change the ownership. But, like, it's general thorough. manager, coach, yeah. all the coaches – should Greg Williams put the Jets in the NFC East? <laughs> <laughs> even, if, East. <laughs> even if the Jets were in the East, I, I don't even. I don't think they would even be in the top two. What? They would be dead last, especially this season. Here we go again. The Ma- we are now sponsored by Malibu cigarettes. <laughs> Keep it smooth. <laughs> I don't, this I, man, this man over here, he he's a big fan of your guys' product, man. I mean, <laughs> anyway. All right, get back on track. All right, oh. so 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 moon vibes. I want to go to moon doing vibes, and I want today. Then I want to go to Jake. Vibes today. Vibes today. We, we, <laughs> we doing vibes and vibes. I gotta get this some information real quick. Nah, nah, nah. Hey, if y'all want to ask me anything about these fantasy matchups, bro, let me know. I got the... We, we can do Vashadamas first. <laughs> the Sam right, Darnold so, get 10 points. All right, so first off, first and foremost, uh, this is Vashadamas, uh brought to you by the good folks at Real Ones Productions. Um, this is going to be an interesting game, and I know it don't look like it. It is, though. One player for you to watch today, Denzel Mims, wide receiver of the New York Jets, and I think that he's going to have a breakout game. Did you know that Denzel Mims recorded 97% of his offensive snaps last week? A clear sign that his role will continue to expand in his offense as he becomes more familiarized with the with their system. Now that he's in three weeks removed from returning from his injury, I think Denzel Mims will break loose, and he'll get around maybe six catches, 100 and 11 yards, and maybe uh, a touchdown. To him, that's a breakout. I think it, I think his chances increase, especially since Sam Donald is not passing him the ball. It'll definitely be Joe Flacco this game. Now, Mims is a home run play tonight for those playing uh, daily fantasy and somebody that you'll want to build your lineup around if I, if I had a chance to choose from the Jets roster, especially with Jamison Crowder dealing with injuries. And, and, Again, Sam Donald not playing. Um, but that's just one element of it. Let's get to the other side where we talk about the lines for this game. So as you mentioned earlier, the line for this game right now is 10 uh, for the Patriots. Um, 42.5 is over under. Let's talk about the team projections based on uh, what I just said for Daily Fantasy. So for those playing on DraftKings, Joe Flacco is $9,400. Uh, his fan duel salary is $12,500. Uh, his projection for tonight is 12.4, 1.4, 12.14 points. He's currently QB 27 on the season. 
And uh, he's supposed to, supposed to give you a projected 194 yards tonight against his defense. But Michael P. Ryan, his price is going for 5,800 on DraftKings, FanDuel, 9,500. Uh, and Yahoo, my bad, he has a $13 salary. His projected tonight is 9.63. He's currently running back 32 on the season. Um, Patriots are notable to be tough against running backs, and um, I think it continues tonight. Let's talk about his running back, Mick, who you might need to put in there as a flex, maybe. Uh, Frank Gore, he's $2,800 on DraftKings, FanDuel, $7,500, uh, Yahoo, $12, and he's supposed to give you 8.9 points today. Um, Denzel Mims, who I was talking to you about earlier, his price right now on DraftKings is five five grand. Five grand, man, to build your whole team around him. I'm going with that. His Yahoo salary is $13. I know his projection is supposed to be 6.99, but I'm ranking him above that projection this week. Um, his rank on the season is wide receiver 72. I think that he gets you over in that. And his projected target share is 15%. But with them not having Brashad Perryman, Jameson Crowder, and even Braxton Berrios, his target share could go up. The guys that I just mentioned... Bashad Berryman has a 15% target share expected. Jameson Crowder has 25%. Braxton Berryhouse has 7 Chris Herndon, oh yeah, I forgot about him. His target share is only 10 So it has to, it has to come from somewhere. I think Denzel Well Mims gets the uh gets the nod today. Then we talk about Chris Herndon, who I just mentioned. He's going for sixteen hundred dollars on DraftKings right now. And he has a price on Yahoo uh leagues for ten dollars. He's supposed to give you 4.33 points. Now, here's some injuries for you to monitor. Sam Darnold, he's doubtful. Jamison Crowder is listed as questionable, expected to play. If he's questionable, um, Jamison Crowder's price for uh, DraftKings is 11,12,200 for wide receivers. Uh, 17 on 17 on Yahoo. Jamison Crowder has been a, a safety blanket for the New York Jets uh, throwers this season. Uh, Sam Ficken is doubtful. Sergio Castillo is expected to serve as a Jets kicker tonight. Um, if you were like me and you had different thoughts about Le'Veon Bell's departure, um, I didn't think that we would have a Michael P. Ron just bust in and have the opportunity to lead the Jets backfield, but that's what they're doing with Adam Gase. Um, but the thing that I'm worried about is Adam Gase's obsession with uh, Frank Gore. And we could see Frank Gore take in some carries from uh, the Michael P. Run. So I wouldn't be surprised if that happened tonight. He's also not very likely to do anything with his opportunities as he's top 6.3 draft king points just twice this season. And those points, he had 11 and 77.2. Now, while P. Run is significantly more expensive than Gore on the market, um, he's also back with the theoretically, he has more upside. Now, P. Run is more involved in the passing game than Frank Gore is. We have to admit that. Um, but I think that the game script is going to play a lot into how these running backs are going to get used. Um, Gore can still be used in lineups um, if you want to use him as a flex or a construction piece, but I don't. I wouldn't build my lineup around him. Um, when we talk about the passing game outlook, with Sam Darnold being doubtful, we got Joe Flacco starting as this in, um, starting tonight, and he was beyond atrocious in his two starts this season. 39 of 77 for 381 in a touchdown. However, New England's defense isn't nearly as strong as it was last season. And uh, Gilly Luck is not playing tonight. Um, this is good news, especially if the New York Jets uh, pass an attack with Jimison and Crowder uh, with him expected to play. I think they get busy tonight. The bad news is that uh, Jimison Crowder's price is 11200 on DraftKings. And that uh, he's been putting up numbers to kind of back it up. He's currently Joe Flacco's favorite target um, in his two starts, and he has a 33% target share. Uh, now, if you can manage to get past the price of him, then you will be able to put, trust him in your lineups tonight. Now, Brashad Perriman, he cleared concussion protocol, and I think early signs, we just got reports that I think he's expected to play tonight uh, for the Jets. Now, if he does start opposite of Denzel Williams in two wide receiver sets, Watch out for that. Jamison Crowder usually plays in the slot in three wide receiver slots. Now, Perriman and Mims project similarly enough where I am likely to have more exposure to Perriman, and I know he's a safer bet. But if you're looking for a splash pay tonight, trust Denzel Williams tonight. Now, Chris Herndon, I know we talk about Chris Herndon. 
His season has been a massive disappointment, especially after all the hype that he was getting in all season. It's been crazy how much hype he was getting. But um, besides, he had a six-catch uh, performance in week one, and ever since, ever since then, it's just been downhill. The only positive thing about Herndon is that he's still getting play time, but his only he's only running routes on 50% of the Jets' plays. So... Oh, actually, 60% of their 50% of their dropbacks, I should say. Now he's unlikely to top a big fantasy day, um, and his upside is not as high. But I think that when we talk about players for the Jets, that's who you need to look out for for the Jets. Now for the Patriots, really quick, Cam Newton's price is 1300 uh, 200 well. About thirteen thousand two hundred dollars on DraftKings. My apologies. Uh, Damian Harris, ten thousand two hundred on DraftKings. Rex Burkhead, forty six hundred. James White, sixty four hundred. That's the players that I'm interested in. I am not touching their receiving core at all. I don't trust any of these dudes. Um, Nikhil Harry is out. Damian Harris is listed as questionable, but he's expected to play. New England's backfield remains their uh, pro where their production lies. And I can honestly see that happening even more in an uptick of volume, um, depending on the game strip. Um, Damian Harris is the team's top early down grinder, especially with Sonny Michelle being on IR. James White's case, he could see limited involvement, um, but you never know. Uh, Cam Newton's propensity at to, to still goal line work kind of hinders all of these players upside, especially since he is somebody that um, is leading the team in rushing. So you have to manage that in there. But then if we talk about passing with Cam Newton, uh, Cam Newton projects as the highest scoring player on this entire game as far as this slate. He has a chance to get loose. Um, a chance to put up points. So just be aware of that. Um, but if I had to go with anybody that, that's a must start for this game, I would definitely say my player is Cam, uh, Jamison Crowder, and if you if you want a long shot for somebody that can give you give you uh, tremendous upside. Go with Denzel Williams, and we send it back to the boys. This was Lob Shadamish. <laughs> um, let me go look at your team real quick, just so I can be accurate. <laughs> Hold on, bear with me. Should you cut your whole team, Jones? I mean, you got a tough loss last week. You got Russell Wilson. Keep him. Uh, Ty Gurley, I would keep him. He's number seven running back right now. Julio. Julio's going to be Julio, bro. Um, Cole Beasley for the Bills. He had 6.9 points last week. You were probably hoping for a little bit more. The thing is, bro, you got Amari Cooper, and we seen his drop off when uh, Dak Prescott left. Before, his targets were just like through the roof. Now, not so much. Just because the Cowboys, uh, Cowboys offense is limited. But honestly, if I was you, I would consider uh, going with Deshaun Watson a little bit more um, in, in your lineup. I would definitely cut Des Bryant expeditiously. I don't know why you picked him up. Um, start Christian Kirk. I don't know what you're doing, bro. Start Christian Kirk. And maybe maybe even look at tight ends, bro. Jared Cook is not going to give you the production that you think he is. Hopefully that helped you. All we righty, back we, to the back. <laughs> we back, we back, we back, we back. Uh, great job with both segments. Um, both uh, Vibe Shadamas and X. Uh, Vibe Shadamas, uh, Per usual, I definitely could have used your fantasy advice this weekend. You actually tried to give me some good advice, but I I I, I went with this logo <laughs> on my hat and decided nah. Hey, um, bro, I do it to myself all the time. Yeah, bro. I should have started Jew Lock, and I didn't. I tried to trust Matt Stafford because I traded for him earlier this week. I let my feelings get involved, and I lost. It 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 be it be like that sometimes, though, man. We got to do a recap. Are we doing a recap on the Saints game? <laughs> you said a recap on the Saints three. game? What are you talking about, bro? You talking about James eating W's? Again? All we got to do is just ah, you saw that? talk about that. <laughs> That's all we got to do. That's all we got to do, man. talking about James eating the dub? Hey, he did something. No, he didn't. 
I would never see a day where John, uh, Tom Brady channeled his inner Jameis Winston. I never thought I'd see the day. <laughs> so did Winston play yesterday and get his team back? <laughs> he played, but he didn't play a lot. Like, oh, okay, I mean, hell. Like, it had to feel good either good way. I mean, hell. I don't know. Oh, but he was dancing. He, he was dancing. He was yeah. calling for balls in, uh, in the locker room. Yeah. <laughs> he's, he's a great locker room guy. Um, I think he can learn a lot just playing. Behind a savvy vet like uh, Drew Brees, uh, also old. Uh, I personally owe owe the month the owe the Saints some apologies, man. Jameis B. Brady, <laughs> probably in pass rating, honestly. Can I, can I tell y'all who who he, who he reminds me of? Who? Uh, it's like he kind of reminds me of Brett Favre. You know, he he's a good quarterback. He just make makes too many mistakes. Wow, you said Brady is? No, I, no, James. Nah, he's talking about oh, James. James. James, James, Okay. My uh, my gripe with James Winston is he turns the ball over too much. Yeah, yeah. that's what. What I said about Brett Favre. Brett Favre did too. That's why. I think they're comparable. Brett Favre is due for a lot of yards. He always got a lot of yards. But, but always... you're you comparing, you comparing the Hall of Famer to James Winston. Don't, don't, look far, don't, don't look too far. Don't look too far. I was about to say, don't look too far. He said too. that's what he reminds him of. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just look now, at it. I'd love to see. I, I'd love to see. Smooth. James's <laughs> potential. If he can stop turning the ball over and see how actually how productive he can be. I don't think Jameis is ever going to stop turning the ball over, but could he reduce it a little bit? Yeah, he could. Um, especially with that eye surgery and everything. And then, um, but he's a gunslinger. He's going to throw the ball. You know, he always has. He um, can make every throw. Yeah, he okay. can. He, he can he make also, him. but he also, but he yeah, also yeah. to choose defense. He get, he can't. He does make some throws where you just be scratchy your head sometimes. Right. But is it true he, that he's he, blind? He, it's not that. I don't think it was. It was that he was blind, or I, I what the case was. Not scratching your head, but breaking your TV if you're uh, if you were a Saints fan. Sorry, not Saints fan. Tampa fan when he was there. Yeah. Damn but, target official with the quote of the night. Hell nah, he's a walking 30 for 30, a fluffing documentary. <laughs> oh, man. Shout hey, he out can, Target, he man. can do this. He can just uh, do this. Instead of throwing seven picks a game, he could throw six. Huge adjustments, man. Even if you did that, that would take his turnovers down, like, yeah. at least uh, a lot. So he could go from like thirty touchdowns to maybe thirty touchdowns and 30, 30 for thirty, I should say, and then but maybe he can get like thirty and twenty, the thirty fifteen. <laughs> like, does that work a little bit better? How, what, 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 how does what? that? How does that quarterback class? Um, I would need to to pull out my phone and remember everybody, but I, I know him and Marcus Mariota went one two. Um, it's crazy that both of them are backups now. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I got a hypothetical for you. So what team does James play for? The Saints. Saints. The Aints. Okay. So okay, we can't go on what, what, uh, what is he, backup? Is he the number two or is he number He's three? He's emergency, I believe. So say he, if he's the uh, third string quarterback. Say Drew Brees and number two go down. Fourth season. Well, hold and on. And James, hold on, hold on. And James comes in. And this is the hypothetical. It's, it's, I said at this point, uh, James gets to start for the rest of the season. Say Drew Brees and them are out for the rest of the season. And he has a fully healthy wide receiver core. Is it completely possible if Jameis turns down his control, turns down his turnovers, Jameis could put, in terms of eight weeks, could probably put up fifteen touchdowns and maybe four or five. <laughs> there was That's a reason I was going to interrupt you. I I think if Drew Brees got hurt, Taysom Hill wouldn't be the starter. Mm -hmm. I think Jameis would be the starter. 
Yeah, he will be the starter. Taysom Hill is like the Swiss Army knife. They, they value him at too many different positions for him to be the starter. It's almost like uh, the situation that you had with Damian Hudson. Like, he's good in every – like, he can play so many different positions. Like, he can do so many different things. But, like, me having him at quarterback, is that limiting his upside? When I can have him at fullback or running back or play receiver or in a slide and they do screens? Jameis is just a gunslinger, period. So, I, he, I think he would be the, the, the backup, backup. But I think Jameis is going to get paid regardless. He's going to get paid regardless, not only just from the Saints, but for this one-year deal, even though his deal is way significantly lower than other quarterbacks that got paid this over summer. Um, Andy Dalton is just one of them. Um, but, like, next offseason, I definitely do feel like he'll be valued in free agency, especially um, after we get to the draft, after we get through with the draft. Howell okay. is disrespectful. And what if he uh, – <laughs> yeah, I was about to say how well how well said he'd take Nathan Peterman over James Winston. Y'all <laughs> he smoked uh, good. <laughs> hey, yo, Target, remember when I trolled you and said he was a wide receiver? <laughs> but it So what if he finds himself a quarterback that can completely change that can change his mechanics? Even though he could stay a gunslinger, but he becomes more wise on his throws and the reads. He's not mature. That's always been the case with Jameis. That's mainly what it is. He's, he's not deeper mature than, at Deeper all. than picks and, and not picks. Yeah. He's not mature. This is the same Jameis that stole crab legs. Thank you. Like, <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> crab is actually pretty good. I, I know that, but just think, what if he finds a quarterback with support? Nah, like and, I'm not. And, I'm and not. the quarterback whisperer was able to change his thinking, make him get more mature in his choice of passings. His you're saying, choice of you're passings. saying hypotheticals. We think, saying yeah, facts. No, this is a hypothetical. It's not a hypothetical. What if Jameis found a quarterback whisperer that can help him change his game and help is him? Is he going him? back not to college that. and playing for Oklahoma? Yeah. No. And no, no. The, the quarterback Saints, whisperer. The, the quarterback. The say he found a quarterback whisperer. The quarterback whisperer is already on his team. It's Sean Payton. <laughs> like, it's already Somebody, on his team. Uh, quarterback so, whisperer A up. is Sean. Listen, truth. Listen, listen, Linda. Listen. listen. Sean Payton is already the quarterback whisperer A. The dude that's behind him and starting. I mean, in front of him, starting quarterback is quarterback whisperer number B. Uh, B. Letter B. My bad. So, like, he, he already have it on his team. I'm not saying that he cannot be productive. I'm not about to be disrespectful like a well saying right now. I'm not I'm saying not he can't be productive. Hey, but but Chief, hey, please allow me to cut you off for a second. Hey, Target, if you're not busy Thursday, man, we can definitely make room for another seat up here, brother. Just just hit up Brad, Moon, Jalen. I know you have established relationships with them already. We can make that happen, bro. Just let me know. Go ahead, Chief. If okay, so say that Drew Brees and Sean Payton do get Jameis to change his way of thinking and the butcher, and he and and, and uh, I'm not even gonna say if Drew Brees gets hurt or Tyson Hill gets hurt, neither one take that out of the equation. With him being in New Orleans under the tutelage of Drew Brees and Sean Payton, is it possible? That he can compete for a starting job again. He's going to have to do that elsewhere. Just, I don't even know how long Drew Brees is going to play. Taysom Hill, I don't even know how long he's going to be on their roster too because I think that his value is just increasing more mm-hmm. and more. Um, and they're going to have to be in – whenever they negotiate his contract, they're going to have to be in discussion and pay him like more than just a quarterback because he is more than just a quarterback. It's been his, all, he does all – he's all-purpose. Taysom Hill is all purpose. I can um, only see Taysom Hill being a starter quarterback in one, maybe two places. And that's New New England. I mean, not New England. Uh, maybe New England and New England and New Orleans. And San Fran. Nah. It's San Fran. San Fran. Somebody who would build an entire playbook around him or anywhere that Greg Roman goes. I got a. I got a. I got a hot take. What's, What's your hot uh, take? Uh oh, Moon. Don't make me. My glasses in the car. I can't even mess with you about your hot take. Go ahead, bro. Yes, you better run. 
<laughs> you you lucky nah, bro, you can't make my glasses bro, bro. go dark. Right, <laughs> Let's say Jalen Hurts does take Carson Wentz's spot. They should recruit Taysom Hill and be like, hey, Taysom, come be all purpose for our team, bro. Nobody can stay healthy. That'd be in- that's interesting. Doug Peterson, bro. We talking about play callers. I, I like Doug Peterson. Hold on. Say what you said again. Carson Wentz hold, is... hold on. Say what you said again, Mo. So I'm saying, uh, let's say, <laughs> let's assume that Jalen Hurts is the starter. <laughs> I, I said that first. Mm-hmm. So that means Jalen Hurts will have to take Carson Wentz's spot. So they will be moving on from Carson Wentz. Should they take Carson, hit up uh, New Orleans and be like, yo, how much do you want to trade for Taysom Hill? And New Orleans is like, uh, let me get, you know, that I don't trust New Orleans when it comes to, I don't trust the ants. Yeah, targets ants. I don't trust them as you far as trading. You can't call them the ants no more, man. Um, yeah, I'm going to call them the ants, bro. I'm a Falcons fan. I'm going to call them the ants. It's personal. Me and Target, personal. Uh, but, Elkin. you know, take some hell. Bring them to the Eagles. And since nobody can stay healthy, apparently, on their wide receiver court, let him play wide receiver. Let him run the ball. Let him let him be a backup to Miles Sanders. Like, let, let him play special teams. He's an overall boost to your lineup. Philadelphia. That's crazy, bro. <laughs> hey, can I clarify something? Um, so when I said said Jameis reminds me of Brett Favre, Brett Favre, like I wasn't trying to say he's on the level. Of Brett, he was on the, he's 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 on the level of Brett Favre was, or even close to that. I was just saying he reminds me of him as in like a quarterback that that can throw for a lot of yards, but he he will throw picks too, and will say F it, I'm gonna throw some more. Yeah, that was Brett Far. That was Brett Far later yeah, in his career. Uh, well, three, se- three or four seasons before he retired. That was his entire he, he career. Took, that was his entire he career. Entire career. He had a gunslinger yeah, man. mentality. Even when he was at Southern Miss, <laughs> he would throw three <laughs> touchdowns and an interception or two interceptions. But his interceptions, Brett Far's interceptions, rose more when he was in the Vikings. I might. Nah. Hey, hey Speezy got there. a bold <laughs> prediction. He says, the 2020 Joe Flacco and Frank Gore beat the Patriots tonight. Jalen, respond. Wow. wow. Wait, what did he say? He said, Joe, 2020 Joe Flacco and Frank Gore wins the, uh, wins the game tonight. I want your response they to will. that. Jalen. Mm. Mm. Jalen. <laughs> I'm a fan, but I'm a true fan at the same time. <laughs> Yeah. I, I agree with you. I didn't want to even dis- discuss predictions, but I think the Jets are due for a win. I got the Jets too yeah. tonight, bro. Turn me up. <laughs> hey. Yeah. Oh, well, said Jets, Jets are winning. I just Jaylen. feel it, bro. It's time for them to get a win. And what 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 better way to do that than on Monday Night Football when they're going to hype it up? They'll be talking about this all week. This will be the hype of the week. Uh, and then, <laughs> then everybody got them. They got their their favorite. Uh, Patriots favored by ten. I think uh, Jets cover. I think uh, the game is higher scoring. And Frank Gore, bro, they already feed this man the ball like a lot, like a lot, a lot. And they, he he slick gives more uh, touches than, uh, not even really slick. He does give more touches um, than Lamarco P. Ryan. So I can see Frank Gore going off, especially if they go into the game script like, hey, let's just pound the ball, pound the ball. Let's do what Eric, all the other teams been doing to us. But I, hey, I'm with you, Jalen. Hey, man, I want to shout out my boy Lever Mode, man. Red Cup game in the building, man. I know you ready for basketball season, bro, bro. My man came in this oh, man amp talking about let's go Cowboys. He said, Jalen, mind your business. <laughs> the cow, the cowgirls. Oh, hey, hey, Ma, what's up with your Cowboys, bro? Y'all get it. Hey, hey Ma, Ma, talk, man. You got the floor, man. Talk, man. What's up? What's up with your Cowboys, man? You gotta be quicker than that. I already know what he about to say. He about to say they need him. Can I say this? Cowboys defense should be arrested for fraud. Because <laughs> that, that is not a defense, bro. That is not a defense. Uh, that defense is bad, bro. That's not a defense. Yo, Mal, so it's good, man. Oh, man, that is hilarious, dog. Hey, you need to get Zeke out of there expeditiously, man. Trade, trade Zeke expeditiously. Man, show me the money, Dak, man. I just want Dak to get his paper, man. That's all I want. I say Patriots win tonight. By four. Oh, that's your, that's your take, Kaden? Uh, that's your take? You want to talk yeah, about I, four? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's his take, man? I say they win by three. Hey, Jalen, t- I mean, uh, 
Kaden, Kaden take is that Fortnite on PS5 going to be better than Fortnite on PS4. Y'all agree? Mm. I don't know. I don't play it. I think the uh, I think the I think the the imagery and the the graphics and the, the the maps and stuff I think they'll look better and stuff. Can can they get that nostalgia they once had it, though? Nah, it's not gonna come back. But it's only because they started they got away from their bread and butter. They got away from it. Started trying to get more creative, and now now all the kids care about is let me get this skin. Let me get this skin. Let me get this skin. <laughs> Bro, my yeah. wallet my wallet empty from buying skins, man. Me skin, guys. Hey, 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 my God. <laughs> we are sponsored. Thank you for the fifteen dollar donation, <laughs> Hey, you got a sub or something, Kaden, man. You can't be, you can't, you can't be doing this, man. Hey, man. Hey, but now nah, though, I... man. So, <sighs> Jalen said that the. Games on. The Jalen Jalen said that the Patriots are going to lose. Yeah, Why he's though? A Patriots fan. And he's a Patriots I'm... fan. Bro, even if he's I a was a, even if the Steelers are playing the best team in the NFL and we were zero and twelve, I would still say we're going to win. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? I'm a realistic fan, Brad. Uh, oh, fan, so... uh, At least I don't like two teams. You doing college football? That's, okay, that's, but, but, that's but, not but, the NFL, though. And, and in the pros. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say, that's two different level of uh, competitions. Um, he likes the Lions, too. But I, I mean, no, I, I don't. just think. No, I don't. Fuck the Lions. I mean, I think that the Patriots are going to win, uh, lose because I think that they're, the Jets offense is going to outperform the Patriots. Yeah, so you might want to go take a trip to the car real quick. Because he, 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 he did say, I think the Patriots will win. And then you stop. <laughs> hey, he's kind of being like truth now, bro. Bad. Nah, man. Nah, Jalen, hey, Jalen, the realest man. I know Jalen don't got it on them thong, the thong, thong, thongs. I know nah, he don't got no flip flops on Jalen. Sitting in a rocket chair, too, dude. Isn't he? He's sitting in a rocket chair. He always be sitting in a rocket chair, right? I'm not sitting in my rocket chair. Ah, <laughs> cause you're going back. Hey, but hey, I'm... hey, talk, Steve. Everybody know Brad like the Lions, bro. No, I don't, goddamn. Uh, so if the Lions win no, and the Steelers aren't win, win, you aren't super happy. <laughs> what? That's it. If the Lions and the Steelers win, that's a good week, right? No cap. I don't, don't like the Lions, guys. So if the right, so you telling me right now, if the Lions was in the Super Bowl playing against somebody, you wouldn't root for your hometown team? Honestly, no, because I don't like the Lions. Anytime somebody start off with honestly, Nathan, they ain't like, they didn't like. <laughs> Brad. I can't, nah, man. I can't even put. I can't put my guy on the detective. I said that because I know you're gonna say that I like the Lions if I said that. I know it. Cause so you were lying. So, so tell me when Calvin Johnson was going crazy, you 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 didn't like the Lions? I wasn't into football at the age of eight, bro. You I mean, told us you were seven years you old when you liked the Lions. Cup or something. Yeah, because my parents were like diehard Lions fans, bro. I they're oh. diehard. Fans. You done made you put the glasses on. <laughs> I'm still keeping them on, goddamn. Hey, hey, talk, hey, 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 chat will talk to you, Brad. They say your story oh, not boy, adding up, like dog. <laughs> Some ain't adding up. <laughs> hey, man, Brad is on the hot seat, man. It's like Smokey and Friday, uh, 20, 30, <laughs> <laughs> 80, 100. Hey, right, did he flip the joke? <laughs> so what do I have to prove? What do I have to prove that I'm not a Lions fan, though? What do I have to prove? Who's what your favorite player of all time? I don't have a favorite player on the Lions. No, I'm just saying in general, who's your favorite player of all time? All time? Yeah. Probably Mel Blunt from the Steelers. Not many people like him all the time. He's a he's a hell of a cornerback. I know who Mel Blunt is. Who's the so you no, like I Mel Blunt? Not many people have them as their favorite of all time. Who's the second favorite? He said Mel Barry Blunt. Sand- Barry Sanders. No. <laughs> it's Calvin Johnson. <laughs> favorite is Troy Palamanu. You said what Troy you said, who? What you? S- Troy Palamanu. <laughs> 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 Somebody clip that. Somebody please clip that. I said it wrong, but okay. (laughs) (laughs) 
Oh, that's funny. <laughs> hey, little mamas, do you call bullshit on that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, but. Hey, so can I ask you a question? Nah, but what do I have to prove that I'm not a Lions fan, though, bro? When you said Melbourne, did you really mean LeGarrette Blunt? Hey, <laughs> Hoel said he got now he got two favorites. Troy Palamanu, Ginobili. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, he Brad said Brad's second, second favorite player of all time, time is Danny Amendola. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Brad, how you feel about Bass Stafford, bro? He's a quarterback. <laughs> <laughs> he's a quarterback. Oh, but he's a good quarterback. Washed up. He's washed oh. up. He is so now. so mm-hmm. Brad. When the Lions went 0 16, is that when you stopped liking them? Nah, I'm being very serious. No, I ain't even know no trolling. Dead serious. Shit. I've never liked them in my life. My parents have been diehard fans forever. I'm not a fucking Lions fan. Did they have you in the Lions bib in the Sippy Cup? Probably. <laughs> I can't control that. You I'm said you never. Old, you I'm said you kidding. never was a Lions fan. Brad. I need this back. I need a special segment of I'm locked up just for Brad, bro. <laughs> Brad, you told us, bro. We want to talk at the stream, bro. Did, did, didn't he tell us he was a Lions fan before he was a Steelers fan? Hey, yo, Jalen, you're a two fan. <laughs> yeah, he told us that. He, said, he, was, like, he was like, man, I was only seven years old. Ain't nothing wrong with that. He didn't tell a lot, Steezy. He said, Matt Cabot Stafford equals quarterback. <laughs> he said, facts. <laughs> I did. He said, yeah, he like, hey, 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 nah, hey, Hoel giving you some, some truth, man. Just plead the fifth, man. Y'all want to know what team, there was a team I liked before the Bills for a second? Was it the Ravens? Nah. I thought it was in the Cowboys. Wait, and you told us, too, that you've always liked the Bills and you haven't liked another team. I swear you told us that once, too. I, I, like, the, I like the Bears for, like, a week, bro. Hey, that's the week. That's the week. I was, like, four years old. I'm not ca- I'm not capping though, bro. You over here capping <laughs> in your raps, man. Hey, can I ask y'all a question about this game? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. If I like the Lions, what I I would know people on the team. I would know who some people on the team are. I know Matt Stafford, but I don't know anybody else really. <laughs> um. So my question to y'all uh, about the game is, um. So what's the biggest concern on both sides? Uh, well, what's the biggest concern for for both teams? I like you know? that question. I really going like that question. Game? Yeah, going to the game. Um, who wants to start? Go to you. Go 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 ahead, you. What was the question? Uh, biggest concern going into the game for both teams, Patriots and Jets. For the, for the for for the Jets, well, my number one concern is how do we get up and going? How do we make this competitive game offensively? On the defense for the Jets, how do we? We already know that we already know the Patriots are going to try to run the ball down our throat. How do we stuff the run? Then. For the Patriots, how do we get Cam Newton to be productive and efficient? And how do we get him more touchdowns in a year? Defense, let's shut the damn Jets down. I that that was a that was a phenomenal take. Uh, for me, the Jets, um, my concerns are the coach, general manager, and the ownership. They're saying that the players, the players can go ahead and leave the locker room. I just want to holler at them. Y'all play in the Big Apple, probably the biggest market there is. And you're 0-8 right now. Like, you have to look yourself in the mirror and realize that things aren't going the way you need to go. Why aren't changes being made? No changes are being made. Mm-hmm. 
No, 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 Steezy, yeah, he called he called the upset. He was and I also thought the uh Cowboys were gonna upset uh the Steelers for real. But like why aren't changes being made for the Jets? Uh Patriots is um like Cam Newton, I feel like right now is getting a lot of bad PR right now, but Tom Brady struggled last year. Why aren't people mentioning that? Like receivers aren't creating any separation at all. At all. So now my question is to Bill Belichick, why didn't he go out and find some type of a target, somebody that can create some separation? Because creating separation isn't just about speed. It's about the ability to know what defense that they're in and knowing how to manipulate that defense. If you if you run a nine route, you run it out, you run a put whatever you run it like. I just I don't know. Like my my problem with the Patriots is 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 it's just like it is with the Jets. It's with their coach slash general manager Bill Belichick. Why do they they have, they don't have any alphas on the outside? They don't have one. They had one on the outside. Ooh. Shout out to Cinco. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just playing, bro. <laughs> Jelly got so pressed. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, but not nah, like why are we surprised though? Like, oh, Bill he put Belichick the cap besides... on. who capping? But as far as uh, as Steezy, as... hold on, let me interject, guys. Steezy, Isaiah Ford, that was my that was my boy back in Virginia, Virginia Tech. I think he might, I think he might just provide a spark. Might just provide a spark. You all hear a fun fact about this game? Yeah. But I was there for it. He's yeah. not playing. I, he's not playing. <laughs> he's he's on COVID protocol. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's on COVID protocol. Hey, man, let's get an exclamation point, Jalen, man. That was hilarious, bro. <laughs> but but, but, but let, me, let me stay on the issue, the, the subject of Isaiah Ford. Okay. I think Isaiah Ford will kind of maybe provide some production for the Patriots. When tonight? No. When he when he actually gets to play. I think he'll, I think he'll I think he might be just a step up above the rest of the receiving core. Not by much. Not you by take much. Isaiah Ford over uh, over Julian? Over Julian? Yes. Apparently what has Julian Element done this year? I mean besides getting on our yard, really not much. <laughs> exactly. I think Isaiah Ford will either. Well, he's leading their they're leading their team and receiving. Yeah, I think Isaiah Ford may be the spark that that kind of wakes up that receiving core. Man, they need more. That's than a hot take. take. That's a hot take too. That, that is a hot take. I just think I, I think Isaiah Ford may be maybe maybe the necessary second receiver that Cam Newton needs besides. Uh, Julian, oh, man. man, it's a bad year when the Bills trade for Stephon Diggs and you still don't got no wide receiver that can really stay healthy. It's bad. It's a bad year for the Patriots. Facts. Hey, can, can I tell y'all wide receiver to watch out for it all in this game? Chad Ochocinco? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Moon in this trolling bag, dog. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually Jacoby Myers. Is he playing tonight? Yeah, he's playing he tonight. He is. Uh, but I was pretty high on him last year. I mean, I didn't think he was going to produce a thousand yards. Uh, but I thought he could have performed better, um, better than the Kill Harry when the Kill Harry got uh, healthy last year. Um, I'm sure. Say what more? No, I say nothing. I mean, but if I did have to say something, it would be just adding on to you, like. Now, I only Jim uh, Kobe. I like Jacoby. I like Jacoby, and I like Demir. Um, Demir Bird. Yeah, he, he he's actually probably Cam's favorite uh, target. Hey, bro. Hey, Brad Frozen, man. Let me. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Brad look like Brad look like he's taking a picture. Hey, hey, Brad. Hey, Brad. Don't show no emotion if you like the lions. <laughs> Uh, uh Ma, Ma said, Ma, Ma said, uh, the Jets are going to win 17 
You say on what, Drew? Maul say, uh... I think that's Maul. <laughs> yeah. yes, Maul said Jeff 17-10. <laughs> uh, I mean, I don't know if I can four, say but... three and two. <laughs> Uh, hey, look me in my look me in my face and tell me I, I'm not a judge. I'm not. I'm not a biased fan. <laughs> if I keep a straight hey, face. <laughs> hey, hey, Brad, keep your glasses off if you like the lions. Hey, <laughs> hey can you hear me? Can you hear, can you hear me still? Yes, yeah, yeah, we can hear you. You just can't see. That was. <laughs> oh man, are hey, you trolling now, Brad? <laughs> Three, two. Damn it, it didn't work. <laughs> it didn't work. I'm not my magic. <laughs> well, uh, so, well so, said uh, so, if you're a last fan, stay frozen. <laughs> so where so so what do you guys think the final scores will be? Fashion. Hey man. I see Fashion. you, Holmes. Them look like the immature glasses from the 90s, dog. Hey, yo, how well? What did Texas do? Oh, wait, yeah, they actually won, actually. They actually won. Wait, who is Howell's NFL team? Who's your team, man? I think he likes the Titans. Well, yeah, he's a, he's a Titans. happen against the Bengals. I believe him, man. Yeah, I believe him, man. Uh, Steve's your Titans fans. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. All right, so we got what about about ten maybe minutes. what yeah ten minutes before we kick off yes sir yeah, all right so I guess we go down the uh, line uh what's your what's one bold prediction for the game I guess we we'll start with a little cool Brad. Jets not gonna win Patriots gonna win um twenty four no 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 not even twenty four. Like seventeen to ten Jets, and I think that the Jets go to the running game a lot more because, as you said, the um the uh, Patriots defense was like fourth or like sixth, right? Sixth or fourth? Ah, uh, fourth. You you're right. Fourth mm-hmm. in the league is that for like all around or is it just? For... Yeah, that's 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 uh total defense. Um, how many yards of uh, how many average yards of rushing do they give up per game? The Patriots or the Jets? The uh, Patriots. The Patriots rushing yards per. Game. They're pretty low as far as rushing yards allowed on the season, but you never know. Frank Gore can be in I his uh, University of Miami back. Yeah, I believe uh, Jets are gonna go the run game a lot more than the uh, pass game. Cause I don't think he's. Gonna, I don't think Dan, Darnold's gonna have time to even get the ball off. The <laughs> Joe Flacco. Joe Flacco. That, oh wait, right shoot! On. Joe Flacco with that uh, offensive line. <laughs> he said Jets 21, 21 seven Jets, but with seven field goals and no tutties. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's hilarious, bro. Oh, oh. Uh, Brad, can I ask you this question? Three, two. Um, do you have a perfect uh, player for this? Huh? KT, uh, Jalen Mike is going in the house. Hey, yo, KT's for us. Hey, he, he's for us, too. Jalen for us, too. Hey. All right, so whenever Jalen gets back, we'll let him ask his question. Um, uh, I think Moonvaps was asking, um, bold oh, predictions, predictions for this game. I, I, my- I, I gave mine earlier if you missed it. Uh, Marcus may will have a sack or interception. I'm even at a, a forced fumble or fumble recovery. My bold prediction is that Jamison Crowder has over 100 yards receiving. Or with no Stephon Gilmore out there. Is he a goal? Um, uh, I think – wait, what did you say, go? Bro? I, was, I was saying is he playing. Is he a goal? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I think he's a goal. Good deal. If Good he's deal. not a goal, then my – my backup to that is that Denzel well Denzel Mims leads the Jets in receiving. Um and then I guess another bold prediction, Jets to win, bro. And um I, I think the Jets I think it's more higher scoring than y'all give it credit for, bro. Like I, I picked the over the over is uh it's forty two point five, so I say a score of 
Jets 24, Patriots 21. Truth. Bold prediction for this game. I think Cam Newton throws for 275 and two touchdowns. That's a, that's amazing. Uh, Jalen, are you back? Baby back, baby back. <laughs> May I, can y'all hear me? Yeah, yeah okay. we, can, we can hear you, bro. He's frozen, too. Frozen gang. Ooh. <laughs> All right. Is he still? Yeah. Um, my bold prediction is Jacoby Myers has um at least 110 yards <laughs> and a touchdown. I mean, that Shout is that might, that might happen. All right, so we... Did anyone ask y'all a question? Yeah. Do y'all have, like, a breakout player? Does any of y'all have, like, a breakout player in this game? Not really. My breakout player was Denzel Williams. My backup is uh, Rex Burkhead. Mine is my Marcus break- May. Oh, break- mm-hmm. Watch Newton. number 20. I'm curious. What's this... P. Ryan, I don't even know. LaMichael P. Ryan. Yeah, Michael P. Ryan. We get scores now. Yeah, we can give out yeah. scores, dog. <laughs> Jalen Rosen. He locked up. No, never mind. He's he's moving. He's moving. Eminem's. Eminem's Mims. Eminem's. One out of ten. No, oh, chew. Sit up, bro, bro. Call God. <laughs> All right. Let's give our final predictions for this game. Starting with Chuf. I'm sorry. Not, uh, uh, score score predictions. 24-21 Patriots. <clears throat> Jalen, score prediction. My score prediction? Yep. Yeah. Um, uh, 20 to 10. Uh, That's, um, I'm going with an odd score. Uh, 19-13 Jets. Mm. Moon. I originally said 24 to 21 uh, Jets. I say... I say it's twenty three twenty. Yeah, twenty three twenty Jets. The last second field goal. Yeah, and we barely we barely get the over. I got wait, what did I say? Patriots seventeen. Yeah, seventeen ten. What what's interesting about that is um you know how uh uh what's 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 the guy name? I can't even think of his name. Van Pelt does uh bad beats. Um, mm-hmm. it, that'll be like a good one if the, if it does reach the over the uh, field goal. Yeah, your field goal, yeah. Um, Somehow the Patriots, the Patriots usually cover the spread. <clears throat> so you, uh, if you were a betting person, you would take the Patriots to win this game by ten points because that's a spread, right? I wouldn't take Actually, that. Actually, screw my score prediction. Uh, I did say that the I said the Patriots don't win 24-21, but usually the Patriots cover the spread. But you picked the you picked that they get the over. You picked that they be at the under. Yeah, but nah, your score don't I, reflect I, that. But like how I said, I'm sleeping on the Jets. I'm I may be sleeping on the Jets. I got a new man. Score. Truth, 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 truth. I got a new I score. I wish I had glasses so I can get you on the booth, bro. Because you new prediction 28-0 Patriots. <laughs> <laughs> hey, they said truth off. Well, they based said he on, high. they well, said he off. Off. Z-Quil. Yeah, I, you know, at the beginning of the show, I was, I, I did think it was gonna be an under. Just looking at, the, looking I like at it when the it shit, be good or not, then I, guys, I honestly yeah. think they oh. might, they might just miss the over. They, they just might miss the over. Don't, 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 don't. <laughs> Hey, true, bro. They said you high right now. <laughs> they said you high. Up. They said you high for Zequil. I'm not high. I'm uh, hey, he got that. He got that Jimmy Two Blunts pack. He <laughs> got the Jimmy pack. <laughs> I didn't know I hey, gave you my plugs number in Iowa. I'm just blind. That's all. 
I can't Stay see. Stay off the weed. Yeah, man, I'm on it. Hey, yeah, bro, I'm on it. What I don't is know that how with you well, Truth is sleepy. Jalen is frozen. Brad got messed up sleepy. glasses. I'm stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sleepy. All right, man, anything y'all want to add? Uh, let's have somebody different take us home, man. Brad, take us home. Whatever you do in life, if somebody can't be part of your struggles, they can't be part of your success. Think about that. And that effort is better. Effort is better than talent because talent can go away and effort stays. So think about that. Appreciate everybody who came in today. And last but not least, I'm not a fucking Lions fan. <laughs> <laughs> and that is that. Brad, great message. Um, you write effort does beat talent. And um, <laughs> lies will soon come to the light. Go Bills. <laughs> <laughs>